Hey guys, so I don't know if you've checked out my friend Amy on her channel yet, but I'm going to do a video response to her video, Weirdos at Work. Um, her username and link will be in the bottom somewhere or maybe in the sidebar. Um, but anyways, yeah, so she did this little rant about all these customers that come into, she works at Serious Coffee, and so uh, the customers that come in for coffee, you know, they can be kind of psychotic if they don't have their brew. So anyways, um, uh, I work at Starbucks, as you guys probably know. And uh, in her little rant there, she mentioned, you know, do people, are they just as psychotic at Starbucks, um, you know, uh, and yes, yes, they are. So my store is a drive through store, and we are so busy all the time, and whatever, but anyways, so um, we have a lot of people that come in, and they, they're just, they're so stupid and ignorant, like, you're just like, what's wrong with you? Like, are you, like, anyways, yeah. So, one of the one thing that bugs me so much is when um, you go, like, okay, I'm standing at the window, and they're in their car, and they're waiting for their drinks or whatever, and then I go to hand them their drink, and they're on the phone or whatever, and they're not paying attention. And you know that, like, um, I guess it's like a, the rim of the door where, like, the window, like, if you're sitting in your car, right, and the window's next to you, and then there's that, like, bar, I guess, that, uh, anyways, whatever. So, they go to grab the drink, and they're not looking, and they just grab it, and they pull it into their car, and the lid catches on, like, the roof of the car and, like, that little casing part, I guess, and, and then, of course, it splashes all over them, and then they look at me like, oh, um, excuse me, like, you just spilled hot coffee all over me. It's like, um, no, actually, you weren't paying attention to me handing you your drink when I said, like, here's your latte or whatever, and you were on the phone or gabbing to your friend, um, yeah, so that's always a, you know, big issue because then they're like, oh, well, you have to make me a new one, like, and we're, I need napkins and I'm going to call Starbucks headquarters because you burned me and blah, blah, blah. And, like, it's like, well, if you just took, this, like, three seconds out of your day to, like, tell the person on the phone you're going to grab a coffee, like, do you have to be on the phone when you're coming to the drive through Like, is it, are you that busy that you can't just do one thing at a time? So that bugs me a lot. And then, so when, um, another thing is, when people come to the drive-thru, there's a little speaker box, and I'm sure you guys have all been to the drive-thru of uh, whatever food place, and, you know, you speak into the speaker and say your order. And But usually someone's greeting you, like someone will say, hi, welcome to Starbucks, or welcome to McDonald's, or welcome to Burger King, or whatever, right? They usually say it pretty fast, you know, because on our side, like, on my headset, I can hear a little ding. Like, I know when you're there. Like, it's just, the car pulls up, ding, I know you're there, I'm going to get to you as soon as I can. But there's people that, literally, I'm not kidding, it'll ding, and they'll go, um, hello, and then you're like, uh, -huh, sorry, I, I couldn't say, like, I couldn't press the button fast enough to get to you. And then you're like, oh, sorry, um, what can I get for you? And they're like, oh, I need a minute. Okay, well then, why were you so eager to let me know that you were there? Like, I know you're there, you're still not ready to order. Why did you freak out? Like, what's wrong with you? So, um, we usually make fun of those people. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, and then, um, what's another thing? Um, oh, okay. Okay, so the drive through is supposed to be, like, a quick, convenient way to come through, um you know, and get your coffee, you know, get just a brewed drip coffee or whatever, like, you know, you go inside for the Starbucks experience, you know, to get a, uh, you know, your half-sweet, non-fat, sugar-free, no foam, 180-degree latte, blah, 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 right? Like, you go inside for that experience, but, you know, I don't mind one or two drinks at a time, they have those weird, you know, long, specific orders, but when you start ordering, like, five or eight or ten drinks, each of them all different, then every car behind you has to wait. And when they get to the window, they're like, what was the holdup? Like, well, sorry, the person in front of you ordered, like, drinks for the whole office, you know? And so, like, those people are so inconsiderate of everybody behind them. Like, yeah, the drive through is fast, but it's not fast when each car is ordering, like, tons and tons of drinks, right? So... It's you may as well have parked your car, right? Because they're sitting in the drive-thru and it's running and, you know, all that, what is it, carbon monoxide or whatever that's coming out of the exhaust, right? All of that is going into the air. So you were better off just turning off your car and parking and then coming in and getting all your drinks rather than, 
you know, sitting there, and then everyone else behind you is like, what's going on? Like, I just wanted to zip in and zip out. Like, that's why people go through the drive through is so they don't have to park, you know, and they can just keep going. So, that's another thing that really bugs me. There's an endless list of things that bug me. Like, as I was listening to uh, Amy's work, uh, Weirdos at Work rant, I just was like, yeah, that is so true. Oh, my God, that happens all the time. Like, you know, the size thing, like... You know, it's very obvious. Starbucks has started that stupid short, tall, grande, vente thing, right? People still come in and they, you know, people that come in every day, sometimes they're just like, oh, I want a small latte. Okay, well, we have a short and a tall, right? What, what's small to you? The smallest size or a small? You know, like, a tall is a small, short is our, our kid size. But if you say, okay, so you want a tall. Oh, no, no, I don't want the big one. Okay, well, the big one's vente. Like... So, yeah, Amy and we do have the same problem. Um, and then, like, every other people, like, they claim the wrong drink. You know, for a while there, we were writing names on the cups because people are so ridiculous. They, you know, one person will order a, say, a grande non-fat no-it mocha, and then someone right behind them will order a grande non-fat mocha. So I'll put up the non-fat mocha first, say, and with whip, and I'll say grande non-fat mocha. Um, I didn't want any whip on my mocha. Okay, well, if you just hold on a second, yours is coming. Like, maybe that's not for you, you know? Uh, so people just, they assume that they're first always, you know? It's just, I don't know. It, it, even if they're, like, fifth in line and they're, they think a drink that's similar to theirs comes up, they still think it's theirs. It's like, okay, there's, like, eight people that are in front of you. You think you're going to get your drink before them? Like, probably not. So it's, yeah, people can be really, I don't know, just impatient and it's everything like this world is turning into such a you know go 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 like don't notice anything type of place like I don't know really how to say it but it's just you know I, I mean it's not like you guys don't know this like you guys live in the same world I do but um you know I just totally could relate to that video that Amy made like everything she said I just you know was thinking yeah that that happens like it's people are so stupid so you know when you next time you come into Starbucks like calm down, <laughs> you know, take a chill pill, and, like, a thing, t something, too, it's really funny, like, I listen to people tell me their drink all day, right, eight hours a day, you know, like, however many days a week I work, sometimes, like, 40, sometimes 40 hours, right, so it's a big part of my life, I hear drinks all day, there'll be someone that'll be like, uh -huh, I've got a long one coming for you, okay, hit me, like, hit me with your best shot, like, I've heard it all, and they and it's it's like everyone that comes into Starbucks feels entitled to something because they're drinking Starbucks coffee, so they're automatically better than someone drinking, say, Tim Hortons coffee or you know, whatever. I mean, I love Starbucks and I'm you know strong supporter and I you know I love that I work there. I'm really proud to work there. But when people that drink the coffee come in and they act like they're entitled to you know, they're like they think that they should be treated like they're the queen because they can say I want a grande half sweet non fat no it mocha you know with a little bit of chocolate powder sprinkled on top like what are you special now because you like your drink a certain way okay well I like my drink a certain way I like my drink so particular I only want to make it I don't want anyone else to make it so everybody else out there that you know that thinks that their drink is so fantastic like it's it's really not to people that are, you know, veterans of Starbucks. Like, it's, I mean, I get it if there's, like, a newbie there and they don't know how to do it. But anyways, I think that's probably enough. I'm getting a little worked up. I gotta, I actually have to go to work pretty soon. But um, I just wanted to do a little response to uh, Amy's video. Uh, anyways, and if you haven't checked out her channel, I am going to do a video response. Like, I'm going to attach it to hers and blah, blah, blah. But um, if you haven't uh, checked her channel out, please do. She is so funny. She did this video, like, I was crying from it because her, one of her friends, Lauren, her, um, Lauren's little brother wrote this hilarious little story, and I remember reading it, and of course we were laughing our asses off when we first read it, but then Amy does it in, like, this ridiculous, um, like, little accent or whatever, I don't know, but, um, it's pretty funny. She's got a, quite a few little cute little videos, so you should check her out if you haven't already. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, also, if you guys want to do a video response to this telling me about the things that irritate you at your work, that would be great, because, you know, who doesn't want to watch that? Because it's just, you think that you're the only one that thinks this, but then you're like, you talk to other people, and they're like, yeah, people like that are uh, my work, too. Like, they're just, 
people out there are just so like such big losers now. Like no, like there's so, there's only a handful of customers that come into Starbucks where I'm like, oh, I love these people. I can't wait to see them. You know. But anyways, enough uh, blabbing about that. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.